Smiles there, Papa. Hi, Smiley. You in a good mood? You were sleeping a second ago. Uh, all right, it is a fan cam start to today's vlog. Uh, thank you for showing up. Clicking on this video. If you're new here, I'm a stay at home dad got two kids, my oldest of which has special needs. We are headed out to, well, I'm headed out to get her from her school. It's, it's about 10 till noon. And then she has a 12.45 appointment all the way downtown. And we live in the western edge of the metro, so it's about a 30 minute drive. She's getting a, another bone infusion today. So fingers crossed that they're able to place the IV. Now that has gone a little easier the last couple of times. In fact, if you, sorry, let me scratch that by the way, if you haven't seen that before, just in case I can't film while I'm there, you can check uh, one of the bone infusion appointments out right here. Fingers crossed that this goes quickly so I can get my butt back home so that I can get a couple of things done before I go to work. So I've got to work tonight. And that's probably what today's vlog's gonna be. Well, I've got our girl and I just realized something because I didn't leave the house with Hudson. I left the house to go get Hudson to go somewhere. I did not bring her bag with her backup supplies. Her teacher actually threw a couple of diapers in and an extra chuck, but I don't have wipes or a change of clothes. So our house is actually on the way back by, so I'm just going to like slip in, grab that really fast. It's literally a run and grab the bag and go because it's always ready. But we might be running a little bit behind. <laughs> but starting filming again gives me the opportunity to remind you guys I was putting it in our description. In fact, I still put it in our description all the way at the bottom now instead of at the top. But YouTube disabling our comments on our videos. That is all YouTube that does that. That is not us. We would love to have our comment section work but because it doesn't, we have to direct people to our community tab. So just click down here on our channel icon. It'll take you to our channel and then you can click the tab at the top that says community and then find the matching thumbnail, which is the photo that you see for these videos. And when you find that, just scroll down and find it. And then when you find that, you can comment on this video. So I would love to hear from you guys. We do some discussing in there. Otherwise join our Facebook fan page or find me on Twitter or Instagram and comment there but staying on YouTube definitely helps us so definitely hit our community tab okay now let's head for downtown Yeah, you gotta get the big smiles there, Papa. Hi, Hi Smiley. Oh, you, you in a good mood? You were sleeping a second ago. I've ordered them. They just haven't come. Okay, okay. Well, we are here and Hudson's getting her infusion. She has been sound asleep. If you saw the live stream yesterday, which you can check out right there, um, you'll see that I did a live stream from right here in this room. Um, it was so insane getting here. I was basically out of gas. We had to stop and get gas. We ran into some traffic. We ran into other traffic when we actually got off the highway because there's construction around the hospital. Got to the valet. The valet was not there. It took like 10 minutes to get somebody to take the van. Then we got into security and there were two lines. I got in the short line. There was only two people. Both of those people took about five minutes each and like not an exaggeration asking for directions to get to somewhere and so I was just it, it just seemed like this comedy of errors where I just kept being stuck from trying to get to where I needed to go there were lots of other little things this sounds like I'm complaining I'm actually kind of laughing about a lot of this and uh, I walked into the lobby of the, the waiting room 
and the uh, the screen that you're supposed to log in on, there were people sitting in front of it, so I couldn't go to that, so we had to go back out of the room and out of the hallway to find one to log in, and then we came back in. And then I got in here, and they uh, so would you like anything to drink while we for the vascular people to get here? I was like, sure, I'll take a water. So she gave me a water. She says, oh, I didn't have any lids. Is that okay? I was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Well, I set it down like right here next to me, and I had been drinking on it. Well, then when vascular came in to do her IV, and I uh, started like arranging her shirt and stuff, and I accidentally kicked the water over. So all of those towels are from me spilling water. I feel so bad about it. Now for the good news. We had to get all that bad stuff out of the way because it took one shot, one try for this girl to get her IV put in. And she she kind of barely jumped when it went in and then she went straight to sleep. So this is like the best bone infusion appointment that we've ever had, which we have to do now like every three months. Um, for a year at least till we're gonna make sure that uh, yeah her bones are getting better anyway so it was like this craziness trying to get here and then everything worked out just gotta change your attitude right <laughs> we're about done that thing takes like 30 minutes for it to run and I think she walked in here and said it had like eight minutes to go so I'm gonna cut this off before she walks in that door because otherwise I can't use the footage and I'll see you guys when we get in the van Well, I went ahead and gave Hudson her food while we were there as we were getting ready to leave. I should have done it while she was getting the infusion because we were just sitting there. The lady that works in there was so nice. There was a towel that they had had rolled up underneath Hudson's arm. And I said, could I just use this? And she said, yeah, uh, do, you, do you want me to get you a new, like a sterile one? I said, this has just been under her arm, just rolled up, it's fine. You know? I said, I'm just giving her her food. I said, it kind of cracks me up when I hear of other families that are just so afraid of their G-tube, you know, it's almost like they want to wear gloves and it's the sterile environment when they're feeding their child. Her G-tube is just her other mouth, you know, it's, you don't put on rubber sterile gloves when you eat a sandwich yourself, do you? And she said, yeah, there are a lot of families that come in when they want water for rinsing out their syringe that they've just fed their kid with or adding water to their food to thin it out because you usually add water for the last little bit to, to flush the rest of the food through the G-tube tube. And she said, yeah, a lot of families come in and ask for sterile water for that. And I'm thinking, what? They probably walk right out in the hallway and themselves drink from the water fountain. I, I just, the water in, <laughs> is fine. I just think it's funny how people get in their own way. People are so afraid of their own situation. Casey's been talking about this term a lot lately and kind of leaning into it, and that's this awakened understanding, which is just being conscious of yourself and, 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 and awake in knowing your situation, knowing what things are, knowing maybe where your feelings are coming from, uh, understanding that you're happy today and maybe why you're happy and understanding that being conscious of the fact that maybe you're sad and maybe there are reasons behind that and that it's okay to be sad. It's just pay attention, pay attention to yourself. But I don't know, I just, I, I kind of giggle sometimes at, at uh, it, it's good that people care, but sometimes people, I don't know, kind of get in their own way, a little like care too much. No, you ever run into that expert Actually, that's not the way you should do that. Actually, it's better to do it this way. Okay, but this is the way we're doing things. This is, it's fine. It's fine to find new ways, but sometimes there's that person that tells you that you're feeding your dog all wrong, or that collar that you put on him is backwards, or... <laughs> all right, I, uh, I'm gonna get us back to the house probably going to sign it out when we get there and again maybe leave you with some final footage of, of me at work <laughs> last night at work was awesome it got busy late and I didn't have time to turn the camera on and I kind of regret that because it was it was a it was an awesome night
kind of excited to get to work again today. Super excited because I'm starving to get home to that food that Casey brought me. Okay, we've been home for a bit. Oh, where are you going? You see Hudson here in her recliner. That's actually a new recliner. Grandma and Grandpa got her a second one because we liked the first one so much. So she's got an upstairs recliner and a downstairs recliner, and that showed up today. Now, remember, Dominic was all sad a couple of episodes. Um, maybe check that out here. Because I threw out his box, his fort. Hey, <laughs> got a new one. <laughs> so I, I cut a window in it for him. But that's the box that uh, that her chair came in. Now I have to let him know that thing is going away. Today being Wednesday, that will be gone before Monday. Now do you hear this noise? That is this going off and all the screaming making it going off every time. <laughs> hey. That's Dominic's classmate and his friends. What do you think, dude? Huh? Great. Yeah, are you excited? I have to go to timeout. Oh, are you in timeout? Yeah. Okay. Can well, you that? can do, after timeout, you can do that. But here's the deal. That's going to be gone on Sunday. So enjoy it until Sunday. No, no crying this time, okay? Okay. I've prepared you. Enjoy it. You, open this? you go in the side. Yep, you go right in that side right there. So, okay. Hey, if mom said you're in timeout, timeout first, and then we'll talk about it after. I don't know what he's in timeout for, but that was some insanity. Huh, I was in here getting um, some jerk pork. So if you haven't ever tried the jerk pork recipe, you can check it out right here. It's like way back from the first year of doing this vlog with some coconut rice, and I've got some black beans going over there, and there is an avocado in the fridge for Casey to have for dinner. For dinner for tonight. You love jerk pork, don't you? I do. Yeah. You're going to be late to work. But I have to go get ready for work. And uh, I literally, all I took was two bites of my food. And uh, so I'm going to be hungry at work. But that's going to do it for today. So I think I'm going to ask Casey to help me before she gets on her phone call to close out the vlog. To the world. You may be one person. <laughs> to one person. You may be the world. That's right. So go be somebody's world, just like the shirt says, which you can get at seethesightsfam.com. All right, guys. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.